All right, Coach, obviously a big series win. Uh, talk about the atmosphere today and what it was like getting this win against Oregon State. Well, it's a series win, and we haven't gotten one of those yet. So it was important that uh, we snap that streak, just went and playing one good game a weekend. And today the kids just uh, shooting three strikes. You know, we're struggling early, but you know, Sonny's came in and just bridged it until we could get to where we wanted to be. And, uh, you know, we, we talked about the process. We talked about, you know, playing one pitch at a time and uh, played really 25 really good innings of baseball. Was, you know, you look at the Thursday night game and, you know, we lost by 9 or 10, but I did feel like our kids competed. I didn't feel like they rolled over. The energy was good in the dugout, on the field, and, and uh, they came out ready to go. We talk about the eighth inning when you score four more runs, kind of extend the lead out. How big was that for you? To kind of oh, it was huge because we're thinking about, you know, what can we do in the bullpen? What can we get away with walk? He's on kind of, you know, he threw, you know, 45 pitches yesterday, and he uh, kind of came in and did a really good job. But, you know, like, uh, and I still know what happened with that tag at second, but, you know, in the meantime, we just had to go, uh, go out and win. But um, they put some hits together against uh, a really good, one of the better closers in the league. And, uh, you know, came ready to play. And is this kind of the most complete win you guys have had in terms of a series, especially today? Just maybe the most yeah, without a play? doubt. Yeah, I think it goes back to maybe Northeastern, where we felt like, you know, saw some good pitching and put three good games together. but. You know, we've lost a couple of series that we felt like we should have won. Uh, felt like we should have won UCLA and Arizona, and, you know, we had to move past that. And I, I've said the, the whole time, I really think that good things are going to happen to these kids. They work hard, and we saw the environment in the last, you know, three days. My good, it's, this is why the kids come to Washington State. It's was this type of environment. It was electric. It was, it was what these kids signed up for. I mean, talk about maybe the this being a blueprint for the rest of the season in terms of being able to get those series wins that maybe you hadn't been able to get in the past when you lose on yeah, Saturday. I, I would like to use this as a blueprint. <laughs> That's a, yeah, um, I like the way we rebounded. Even when they scored runs, we'd come back and score again. And uh, that's that's a sign of a team that believes in themselves and uh, believes they're going to get better. I'd quickly talk about a couple of your table setters. Obviously, Trek Stent with an unbelievable weekend, another four hits today. But then Dugan Shire turning the lineup over all, all, all day long. Dugan, uh, he started out, he kind of shrunk, shrunk the field with that little push bun he had. And, you know, they had to honor it from uh, that, that point on. And, he was uh, more aggressive than he has been, and we've been stressing it and uh, getting after him for it. So he saw some pitches early that he was ready to hit and did a good job, and Trek just keeps on doing what he does. He keeps getting hits.